It is the playoffs here in Arlington. The wild card round commences on Fox, and we're glad you're with us. The Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys in a classic matchup, and we can't wait, and we say hi. He's Greg Olson. I'm Kevin Burkhart. Let's start with Dallas, Greg. You talk about them. They're the number two seed. They won the NFC East. Another 12-win season for them, and they're hoping for a deep run into these playoffs. Going against a Packers team that at the beginning of the year, not a soul thought they'd be in the postseason, but now they're playing as well as anyone. Yeah, and the biggest story surrounding the Green Bay Packers, of course, has been the play of Jordan Love, the quarterback. He's kind of the leader of this young, inexperienced, but really talented Matt LaFleur offense in Green Bay. But I think today, all eyes for me are on Green Bay's defense. How do they put a lid on the Dallas offense? They led the league in scoring. They're averaging 37 points a game here at home. The longer they play well on defense, the more it allows this Matt LaFleur Green Bay offense to play the style that frankly made them this surprise playoff team. Yeah, so in a way, the Packers are the seven seed playing with house money. All the pressure on the Cowboys, right, Aaron Andrews? Yeah, absolutely. And that's why Dallas head coach Mike McCarthy really tried to alleviate some of it early in the week by telling the media, telling his players, I'm not going to talk about my time with Green Bay. It's the playoffs. It doesn't matter who you play. What does matter for his quarterback, Dak Prescott, is handling the emotions of today. Dak telling us, in my past postseason starts, I learned how to deal with the ebbs and the flows. And that's why I told Mike McCarthy, I got to get into a rhythm early, especially being back at AT&T Stadium with all this juice. Wow. Let's send it over to Tom Rinaldi for more on Green Bay. Well, EA, the Packers are the youngest team in the NFL, the fourth youngest ever to make the playoffs. And as Matt LaFleur told us this week, no one expects us to be here. So screw it. We're going to throw some haymakers. His message to his team this week about this game, make it grimy. To help, some good news on the injury front. Cornerback Jair Alexander, who rolled his ankle this week in practice and was a game-time decision, he will go to help out against C.D. Lamb, as will Christian Watson. Their long threat as a wide receiver missed the last five games with a hamstring. It's the Packers. It's the Cowboys. It's the playoffs. Super wild card weekend in Dallas when we come back.